say definitively that religions are all bullshit. Welcome to Brainstorm. We have the explicit tag for a reason. This is a base level argument to a higher level morality. I get paid to science? To science as much as one can science. What the hell was my point? Trigger warning. The Brainstorm podcast will criticize your most cherished beliefs. We attack nonsense in all its forms and discuss difficult subjects. If you peddle pseudoscience, supernatural woo, or religious dogma, then this is not your safe place. This is the home of the hardcore skepticism. For those listening live or to our patrons, welcome back. For those listening weekly, welcome to the Shift to Reason Radio, the brainstorm production that tries to educate and inform. We'll take current events and important skeptical topics and try to analyze them critically. Remember, we're live on Spreaker.com every second Friday, and today is August 4th, 2017. I'm still joined by Angela. Hello. Renee. Hello. And the amazing Dave on Sound. Yeah. With our guest host, Chris Watson. Renee, really, Renee? That's your name? Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's the name. What's wrong with that? Your <laughs> damn Frenchies, God! No, I'm just... <laughs> you dirty white man! <laughs> I've been getting that no, all look. my life. <laughs> yeah. Should just change it to Ryan. That that that, and you know that's a girl's name. Fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> Yeah, shit. <laughs> Which is why I said it, you know, yeah. playing right mm. into it. Hell, like I, I've said before, hell, I had Lisa one night to tell me how, white splaining how I'm saying my name <laughs> incorrectly. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. She was Anglo splaining your French name. <laughs> she was Anglo splaining my French Anglo-splaining. name. Anglo <laughs> splaining. Oh, shit. <laughs> I, I was going to try to find the clip and say, you know, here's Lisa in Italy, that clip of uh, Sideshow Bob. In the Italian, in the Italian village. No, no, no. You're not saying that correctly. You're, no, no. Roll your eyes. Bonjour. No. <laughs> Get out of my country. <laughs> oh, shit. It's freaking awesome. It. All right. Before we get into our uh, woo report and our regular segments, uh, let's talk about something that Chris and I have been dealing with on our Facebook pages lately. Uh, there's an article came out recently about should a a trans person have to tell you that they're trans before they date you? So what do you think, Chris? I'm pretty sure you already know my stance on this issue. If you've been paying any attention to my feed, uh, got some shit about it. Uh, I posted initially the article And uh, quickly was filled by uh, heterosexual people who seem to be horrified by the prospect of, you know, being tricked into, you know, somebody being, uh, having different genitalia than they thought they, you know, they were going to have. Horrified at it, you know, I mean, not taking into account that trans people are more likely to be murdered by several times in the general population because of something like this. Yeah, it, it seems to have been, uh, I don't know, This the whole thing has kind of uh, been taken in this very personal way. Like it's very much like, um, like everybody's thinking that they're being attacked or tricked by trans women. And, and it's just, the numbers don't show that that has happened. Like it's almost entirely about men who seem to track down trans women or try to attract, tra- like chase track trans women more. It, uh, this particular article talks about uh, Jennifer Laud, a 26 year old Filipino woman who was murdered after having sex with a U.S. Marine. And the Marine, Joseph Scott Pemberton, strangled her until she was unconscious and then proceeded to drown her in a toilet bowl 
after, uh, after apparently reacting to the fact that she was trans and he su- su- supposedly did not know this. And apparently, like, uh, online, there's been a, a whole bunch of people who say that she deserved it or that this is to be expected if you trick people and things like that. And, uh, Chris, you you had some conversations with some trans people on your Facebook page. What was What were some of their takes on it? Okay, so I started, uh, I did a post where I just asked trans people to express their particular responses to this because I had not, I had not seen that. I had seen a bunch of cis people throwing a fit about, oh my God, we were tricked. So I was like, you know, I'm not hearing much about, uh, from trans people. So, uh, I'm going to read a couple of comments here, uh. I think this is a contentious issue within our community as well. Personally, I feel the answer is no. Reducing anyone down to their genitals is bullshit. Even if you are not attracted to certain parts, there are like a million ways to have sex. And if you are a cis male who is with a trans female, it totes doesn't make you gay. She's still a woman. Uh, Let's see. For me, it's never a question because I know if I don't, my life could be in danger. And I think that's something to take into consideration. Yeah, it certainly says something. But she says, so it's cool that I see all kinds of six folks riled up about their feelings being hurt. If they find some, something other than they expect in someone's pants, where it could actually mean I'd get killed. Yeah, I think we need to take that into account here. Um the the fact is that, for one thing, you're more – think about this for a second. Uh, what percentage of the population is trans? Uh, it's vanishingly small. It can't be much, maybe a percentage or so. Probably not even that much. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's super, super small. So what are the chances of you getting with a trans person anyway? And why would they fucking put themselves in that situation? I mean – who, I mean, they're ter- who isn't terrified of being murdered? Why the fuck would you put yourself in that position anyway? You know? Yeah. I mean, it, let me read uh, something from Marissa McCool. We don't owe anyone anything. It seems to mostly come from people who are scared we might trap them into accidentally finding us attractive. We're not obligated to risk danger to sue cis and securities. We decide when we disclose it. They have no say in that, and the discomfort uh, with this doesn't help the situation. So, what I'm seeing, one more thing, Carla Lewis, who is a local a trans person, and you have met a couple times, and it's awesome, says, will they kill me before or after sex? For real, until we start walking around nude with our goodie bags hanging out like fruit ripening the sun, <laughs> two people are attracted <laughs> to one another, by any uh, any attribute other than genitalia, genitalia should really be considered when two people are trying to determine how to get each other off. So, what I'm seeing here is the fact that when you start dating somebody, what is the first thing? I mean, you're talking about lying. Somebody fucking brought up the fact that well, there's a lot of guys who say they're fucking hung or you know they're real good in bed, and then you get there and they fucking <laughs> They fucking suck, right? Yeah. So you're, how's that not lying, being lied to? You know, are you going to yeah. kill the guy because he said that? And he False lied advertising. To you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. So, I mean, go for, seriously, go fuck yourself with a rusty pipe. I have absolutely no fucking sympathy for that, that way of thinking at all. And the fact that people are going to this and not even considering the other side of it, to me, just, I mean, it's, a lot of people, and I think it just goes to the bias in the society to a bi gender, just two gender binary. You know, I don't think it. I think that's just the basis of it, and they don't even think about it any other way than that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it seems to me like it's very. Uh, I mean, there, it's one thing if a person just, you know, you get to know somebody, you get to 
uh, relationship status where somebody tells you, okay, well, I'm a, I'm a trans person and you go, okay, well, that's not actually something that I'm interested in. I mean, I think there's still issues with that, but that's, that's one thing. If you just say, okay, well, this is where we part ways. That's how adults deal with things. But there seems to be this ultra violent reaction to towards trans people and it, it uh, it's it's definitely disproportionate from my perspective and and uh don't you think unjustifiable that, i think yeah i agree with that for sure sorry well, who the fuck is sorry go ahead sorry. i just wanted to say that that it it seems as though there's there's this is a fear response because this is this is something that comes from a place of fear com- comes from a place of lack of understanding um, that these people are saying, I'd, it's just like if a trans person doesn't tell me, it's like somebody ha- having an STD and doesn't tell me. It's not the same thing. No, but being trans isn't a disease. It's not a disease, <laughs> but it's, it seems like these people are just so fucking clueless. Just like I was listening to do- a documentary today about – a, a gay retreat there it used to be a place for hiv positive f- individuals but it turned into a gay retreat and there was people there they actually had a town hall meeting because there was people that were afraid that you could get aids from mosquitoes and it's just there's a complete lack of uh, lack of awareness on the part of these people that are just being fucking stupid yeah it's ignorance I mean, and like so many things, it's just pure and simple ignorance. Yeah. Just look at America. You got your, <laughs> you know, well, there's, there's do I need like... to say any more? <laughs> <laughs> but there's people like that in Saskatchewan that like my father-in-law yeah. talking about how, how morally bankrupt homosexual people are. Oh, just because God. they're attracted to members of the same gender as they are, they completely have zero morals. They swear they have no, they have no moral compass whatsoever. They just swear? What yeah. the fuck? People swear? Yeah, I don't. <laughs> no? Believe it? Well, swear. No. It's certainly... I so mean, I so think, how many uh, swears do you have to say before you turn gay? That's a good question. <laughs> if, that was, if that was a correlation, I'd be gay as yeah. fuck. <laughs> I think I might have already crossed it. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm totally and gay. I sure as hell get a lot more sex, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not guaranteeing that I would. I don't know for sure. <laughs> no, that's pretty yeah, silly. The, yeah, no, the whole thing is just ridiculous to me. Um, mm-hmm. And the reason I say that is because even if, I mean, think about it. I mean, the whole idea that you would go to it, anybody would go to the length of going through a whole rigmarole, going five or six states. And then, oh, by the way, I, you know, who the fuck's going to do that? I mean, considering the fact that they could literally be murdered for, for doing that shit, who the fuck would do that? Yeah. Well, and I why mean, are you uh, with that person in the first place? Like, what, like, what's, are you, are you attracted to them? Like, wh- what difference well, does it make? Like, uh, what, well, that's a separate issue to me, do you think to be so? honest with you. How come? Yeah, because I don't like penis. Okay, and that's just not anything but a personal preference, you know. That's you because I'm a cis. Innies. Yeah, I just <laughs> like I like pussy. I mean, you know, that's fair. That, that's fair. That that not inherently there's nothing wrong. That's not the issue to me. <laughs> what the issue is is that people think that because they don't inform you of that fact right away, that somehow you're being right. dishonest with them. That is the issue with me. I mean, if I got to a point with somebody that we were going to have sex or something, and they, like it says in the article, I think a lot of people didn't even read the fucking article, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, they reacted yeah. to the hot headline right away, right? Yeah. Because it was yeah, all, a it lot was, of it was... It was a little clickbaity. I have to admit yeah. that the title was a bit clickbait, clickbaity, which... Well, they were fair enough, but I mean, the article is said, like, look, they have it, it's a courtesy to tell somebody if you, but even if you got to that point and they're like, look, you know, I have a penis instead of a vagina or whatever, whatever genitalia you're expecting, what are you going to do? 
I mean, are you really going to tell me if you were really attracted to this person in every other way? Right. Then you're going to fucking just, oh, my God, are you kidding me? I mean, no. You'd be like, look, I mean, think about that. I mean, think about how many people are heterosexual cisheads have gotten into and they started fucking. And I guess it's just not that good. We're just not compatible sexually, right? Right. How many yeah. times does that happen? So why is it any? Why is that any different than finding out somebody has different genitalia? Or uh, why is that? Yeah. You know, why is that so much more of an issue? Because we have been trained that way. The binary has been drilled into us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's going to take a long while for us to fucking overcome that. It's not helping when you got ignorant ass motherfucking bigots. Yeah. Fucking further in the narrative, but okay, I'm done. Do you, do you think it? Do you think it's like you know you meet? Say I meet a guy, and he's super dreamy, and he makes he's super smart and shit, and it just turns out that he likes anal and I don't. Is it the same kind of a thing as that? Maybe. To to me, I mean, if it well. It's a little more complicated than that. I mean, it, it, see, it's it hard to, I, because you, but you would have it another way though. That's what I'm, I mean, if he was only into that and you didn't like it, that's, you know, then you're not going to want to have sex with him at all. Right. But there's, there's ways like, I mean, ideally we, it would be, it would be good for trans people to, to, to get to that point as a society when you meet somebody and find out they're trans and it's kind of like just finding out that somebody doesn't like anal. Oh, I see what you're saying. Well, just one less, just one less. Oh, okay. It's just, there's another way I can get you off. There's tons of ways I can satisfy you sexually, but this way it's just, this is off off the table. I don't like period sex, blah, blah, blah. Those kinds of things that it's just a preference thing. But that would only occur if we could get past this whole this reaction this instinctive almost this visceral reaction against oh my god this woman has a and it's almost always that you know it's almost (laughs) always the woman having a penis you never hear about the other way around no there were some people though there was there was a trans man who gave birth to a child recently this week i believe and there was a lot of fucking people up in arms they were like that is no man there, there's no such thing as a man with a uterus. They were fucking butthurt. That these <laughs> Just stuck on their fucking yeah. They need to be butthurt with a rusty motherfucking they, pipe. They might. I don't know if you can change minds that way, though. You know, it's, <laughs> I know, I know, but it's, it's almost a visceral reaction for me to yeah. say, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Here's, I got a beer bottle. Let's see what you can do with that motherfucker. But, you know. <laughs> I've been drinking a little bit, so maybe I'm not quite as nice as I usually am. <laughs> I'm opposed to violence, but I'll fucking <laughs> bottle you. <laughs> yeah. That's only theoretical. I wouldn't necessarily. <laughs> <laughs> In theory, I would fucking bottle you. Yeah. In theory. I, I, no. I find it an Wait. interesting subject because... Frankly, I there are uh, a number of att- very attractive trans women in the world, and yeah. the fact that you can't tell they're trans necessarily right off the hop does not mean they tricked you into being attracted to them, and that's what people seem to be implying. There's <laughs> if, some kind of deception there. Yeah, that's right. If yeah. you go on a date with an attractive woman and she doesn't say I'm trans at the start of the date. Well, she didn't trick you into dating her, <laughs> right? Like Exactly. But it, it's so ingrained into us. And even I have this almost this reaction like, oh, my God, what the fuck? But I'm trying to, you know, it's like I'm honest enough with myself to realize that that that, in, that fucking indoctrination is there and try to overcome it. Right. Yeah. You know, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say, like, just it's almost a this because you're trained, man. It's hard to overcome yeah. some yeah. shit that you've been taught since, since you were fucking born, basically. 
mm-hmm. that there are only two genders, and anybody who doesn't subscribe to those two particular genders are somehow, you know, deceptive and, you know, trying to get you to fuck them or whatever. I mean, it's difficult to overcome something like that. Yeah. So, in a way, I can almost understand. But what I what I can understand is the violence aspect. Right. Yeah. That That is the thing that really fucks with me. Because somebody on my feed sat there and said they were going to knock somebody's teeth in because of that. Right. And I said, you need to go fuck yourself and do it quickly. And I don't mean pleasant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, it's 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 scary when when you have a peace loving person normally, and then all of a sudden they get to that point with what shouldn't necessarily be a violence issue. And I mean, I think maybe the deception, maybe because there's there's that m- complete and utter disgusting idea that trans people, because they're going into a different bathroom. I mean, Republicans have tried to to. And conservative people in Canada have tried to to insinuate that trans people they're going to like a trans woman is going to be a sexual predator in a in a woman's washroom, and and it just it's, oh 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 the sweet sweet irony of that considering the majority of the people who do that are straight guys <laughs> yes exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I I was thinking it's the wrong ones in the dress. I'm thinking they're thinking the Catholic (laughs) priests. Well, (laughs) exactly, exactly. Yeah, well, that's a whole different. But and and I think I think is it the deception? Like they feel deceived somehow. Like there's like that element of trickery. Like it's it's misogyny. Well, that's exactly what it is. Well, I think like especially with this internalized misogyny. I think with especially with this article you're dealing with that whole idea alpha male right like yeah yeah usually they're the ones that are going to be the ones that turn violent right like this was a marine right picked up this i'm i it's not in the article i'm just gonna assume i know you're not supposed to assume but let's assume he probably picked picked her up at a bar was she a sec like that's just it. i don't know let's no. not i have no idea that's not in the article i have no idea it doesn't matter it doesn't it doesn't matter. it doesn't, it it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter it doesn't matter but i'm just saying no. because he's a marine probably picked her up had fun and then whoa what the fuck and then freak the fuck out because you know because of whatever issues he's got yeah and, uh, i'm a marine i can't be doing this you know you know right Toxic you know, it's, masculinity combined yeah. with fucking internalized misogyny. It's socialized misogyny, really. Yeah. You know, because if you're a guy and you assume the position of a woman, you're somehow lesser. Yeah. That's what it comes out. Yeah, th- that is... Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's a, it's, oh, I absolutely fucking know. Well, I and, absolutely and, fucking yeah. know what's going on. And women, like in religion, (laughs) we are told that women are like we're told to cover up. We're told to to um, stay silent. We're told to to not show our boobs or anything like that because we might tempt a man. And that's what this is as well. Yeah, there's, because there's because an element of that as well, isn't there? I, like, I, there has to be. There's there a lot of toxic shit going on in in something where you're murdering somebody, <laughs> right? Yeah. Like, like, and and the reaction, the the very, uh, the real problem in in this whole thing, and I, I mean, I don't want to downplay the tragedy of a person losing their life because of the issues here, but the reaction by people in general is in the affirmative like yeah i'd kill the person too or like and this is just it's so fucked up it's just so fucked up <laughs> mm-hmm. I, I uh there's so much socialized toxicity toxicity mm-hmm. involved there and i mean i know i had a lot of back and forth on my uh, facebook feed this last couple of days discussing this and it's uh well, you you would dealt with people that were you were accusing them of being transphobic, and they they took like, quite issue. Yeah, like, like oh, yeah. how dare you? I 
I okay. So I read your. I read. Okay, let me go ahead and tell you this right now, Corey. <laughs> and you, you know I love you. But you <laughs> You could have, uh, okay. But, no, you, you I, didn't necessarily have to be, because fuck everybody. Whatever. <laughs> that, was, that was the last the segment. Show. Yeah. Yeah, that was the last segment. But, you know, I'm saying let's bring it forward to this. I mean, you, I don't know. You could have clarified maybe a little better. Maybe. I mean. Uh, yep. That's a fair it criticism. Was a viscer- but it was a visceral. I mean, it wasn't even a charity. This is a principle of charity here. You know, taking the most favorable fucking interpretation of something somebody said, especially when you're Corey Johnson, the true neutral. <laughs> yeah. So, you are you know, <laughs> let's not assume that he's going to be a fucking complete cox. Oh, I'm sorry, that's a dickhead or whatever, but yeah. you just go out of your, it's like they fly off the fucking handle, like automatically, I don't understand. I mean, I do understand it's this whole in, ingrained idea of, oh, my God, I'm being tricked into looking at a penis, you know, or looking at a vagina. I mean, it's just it's just it's it's just yeah. so, like I said, it's just so visceral that people just lose their minds. I, you know, mm-hmm. I don't I, I mean, I do because because sexuality is like is considered to be, of course, reproduction is like the most uh, basic drive within humans, right? Yeah, and is. so when you challenge that, I mean, you're basically challenging their very being, I guess. Kind of like religion. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there there seem to be a lot of those types of things where people have them ingrained and they just, any challenge to it at all is um, reacted to quite negatively. Yeah, that's putting it mildly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. But I think we've said just about everything we can about this one. Let's move on to the Woo Report. (laughs) I'm not a scientist, but if I can tell you your science sucks, your science really sucks. That just makes no fucking sense. I mean, it's just bullshit. Fuck. All right, Angela. So now we've, we've talked about it a little bit here and there. What is going on with What the Health? It's a documentary that is hosted by some weirdos. They're humans and they, they have ideas. <laughs> They're humans. And uh, <laughs> Chris, have you, seen, have you seen this documentary? I've heard of it. It's on Netflix. Well, no, yeah. I heard about it through you. I think it's on Netflix. Where, where... It's on Netflix. And, and you can watch it. If you, if you are a masochist and if you want to torture yourself, please go for it. Um, I initially, through through my training with this personal trainer, I thought, you know what? I'm just going to look at it before Corey gave me the story. And I think because I <laughs> posted <laughs> about it, he it. gave me the story. <laughs> but the trainer said, watch it. And I was like, okay, fine. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see what it's all about. And I got 45 minutes in. And I was like, fuck this shit. And then I ended up watching the rest of it and swearing out loud at the gym because I was just completely, completely and utterly... I was I was livid. I was absolutely livid, be, livid because it's it's alarmist and it's fear mongering and it's completely one sided. And you should watch his other documentary, no. Cowspiracy. No. <laughs> oh, I've actually seen that. It Have you? Terrific. Oh yeah, I've seen Cowspiracy. Same asshole. Like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's, this is the one of the worst documentaries I've ever seen in my life. Is yeah. Michael Moore directing it? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but this this show basically what the health talks about the crux of it is that it, it talks about processed meat red meat chicken dairy products and fish being essentially the cause of cancer it causes cancer it causes all diseases um it causes heart disease it causes diabetes it causes this this and this and it talks about um if you eat eggs every day it is like smoking five cigarettes a day that's the comparison that they made and and they (laughs) what did you say three packs three five cigarettes per day if you have two eggs every day it is akin to having five cigarettes so i'm effectively having 10 cigarettes a day 10 cigarettes a day Wow. And cheese is a, almost and as addictive is, as yes, heroin. Yes, <laughs> that's right. How? What is it about cheese that is, is so addictive? Uh, triggers a similar uh, chemical in the brain. 
yeah. as heroin. So, so I don't believe you. <laughs> this this article on sciencebasedmedicine.org is really good. It's so amazing. And yeah. and after I got through 45 minutes of this show, I, I ended up going online and I needed to to balance out some things. And there's – she talks about – in the article, she talks about the skeptic's rule – is before you accept a claim, try to find out who disagrees with it and why. So that I think is a really good rule of thumb. I think if the fact that they had Steve-O as one of the testimonials. Yeah. <laughs> that, just, that right Isn't there. They jackass? They did. Yeah, the guy from Jackass. Yeah, yeah, he was one of the guys in there as a testimonial. Yeah. yeah. Well, he's that, an authority about food health, isn't he? Oh, oh for he, sure. Yeah, yeah. Well, they had a dude from. They had a former uh, NFL athlete. They had a f- uh, guy that is in uh, American Ninja Warrior, and they they so they have to pick these recognizable people. And then they had those those run of the mill Joe Blow dudes. They had the lady that had to use a walker. They had a guy who had like a number of different prescriptions. He had heart disease, etc. And then they had another woman who had respiratory issues and she was severely overweight. So and all solved with after two weeks of going to a vegan. After two weeks, two, two weeks, weeks of a vegan diet, halved med- medication or was off all of medication yeah. because they went to this treatment center. Hallelujah. Yes. <laughs> God. So, so it's, it's what they don't understand what they, what they mislead you on is that the, the degree of if you're on in category one carcinogen, for example, it's based on oh, strength right. of evidence. It's not based on the level of yeah. risk. They, they, the WHO is not a good source for like determining how likely you are to get cancer. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So it's 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 just it's just disgusting. Like they talk about it's just it's it's scary to me that there's so many people that are that are that are willingly swallowing this. <laughs> and promoting it. promoting swallowing this. Yes. That's Sorry. something insert, somebody yes. does. Insert gag <laughs> sounds I, here. I, I rely on somebody willingly swallowing it, but anyway, <laughs> go ahead. Well, I mean, yeah, you want to have consent first before you shove that down in your throat. Of course. Definitely. definitely. Right, Def- safe word. Safe word. <laughs> Poodle. Let's do that. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. You came up with that awfully fast. Choke. <laughs> choke. The movie Choke is really good. If you haven't seen the movie Choke, you really need to see it. Uh, we're, oh we're my god. Up. So good. So um yeah, it's it's just it's fascinating how like they don't they don't they call these people, they go on their websites, the American Diabetes Association, the American Cancer Society. They go to all these websites and then they go to some anonymous pig plant, pig farm, and they they see all of the 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 waste that's pumped into rivers and stuff. And then they just go to some random's house and she says, well, all my family has cancer. And, you know, he sprays on days when we're having cookouts. And, and you know, they only have pig farms in black oh and Mexican God. neighborhoods. So they're bringing race into this, too. They're not, just, they're not just bringing this into, like, it being a health issue that you need to be vegan. But it's also talking about, you know, they, they talked about big pharma. They talked about the conspiracy of big pharma. And they talked about GMO and all that stuff, too. And it just... it 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 joins the umbrella of all that stuff as though it's all big and evil. And they, they have these, these repeated scenes where they're cutting into pigs and there's like pus coming out of it. Because they're talking if about the ass pus coming out, then that's, that's not, well, they're trying, what they were trying what to it, what say, it, <laughs> what they were trying to say is how that the, it started off with, they're talking about processing of, of the meat. Because they have to process them so fast, yeah. That the a lot of the um, did you watch this? Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I watched it. I also have seen Cowspiracy. I think it's it's, it's Renee likes ridiculous. to watch the worst of the worst. Holy shit! <laughs> I don't know if I should be. He used to playing. listen to Alex Jones for the lulls. I guess. <laughs> yeah, I did, I did. Yes, you did. That's I right. 
<laughs> I tried that for a Glenn Beck. I was doing that for a while. Ugh, I was really? Tired. Oh, my God. I mean, there was a point where I reached my limit and went, okay, enough of this shit. But <laughs> the but thing was is they were they were doing it as – and like the problem is, just like with cow conspiracies, there's just little glim- glimmers of truth to it, just right. little smidgens. Yeah. And that's the thing is, they were talking about how they're processing the animals so fast that a lot of the food handling isn't properly done. Like, and that's where the abscesses and okay. stuff were coming in. Yeah. And there's there might be something to that because right, you know, when you're trying to oh we gotta up the profits and crank 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 and they're yes. you know it's just like what they were showing with the spraying. It's just like uh, how many years ago was that? Like uh, there was that big uh, outbreak of E. coli in spinach, and that was wise because they spray their farms with untreated fucking sewer water, right? Mm. Because why? Well, it happened way back then. It's going to happen even more now with Mr. Trump and his fucking yeah, anti deregulation. That's is right. that is that they don't treat the water and. That's how you get E. coli because it's the water's full of shit. <laughs> yeah, you know, and like, and that's the thing is, it's 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 just like his cow spirit. Like this guy must be an uber vegan because everything has this he vegan. Is. He feels right. better, and they, oh, they also talked to an uh, ultra athlete who did five Ironmans on each island of the, which one on each island of Hawaii. Yeah, which is which is whatever. But that's this thing is I question this guy's motivation because both. Cowspiracy and this one is very fucking vegan because Cowspiracy was all about global, about climate change and how cow farts is pumping holes in the ozone and you know that def- well, uh, the I mean for- methane is a greenhouse gas. It mm-hmm. is, and that's, <laughs> so. that was one of it, and deforestation of it's- the rainforest and a bunch of other shit. Yeah. But I every mean, lie has a seed of truth. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah, like yeah. I mean, that's just it. Is there were certain little elements of truth to it, but most of it was utter bullshit. Absolutely, and thank you, thank uh-huh. you for clarifying no, that. No pun intended. <laughs> yeah. The one well, most of they were talking about, about pig about, shit, but <laughs> yeah, exactly. They they also talked about how all protein originates with plants. Well, yes. that's true, and that. You know, like, there's no, like, they're just. There, There is something to the idea that eating your protein secondhand, like through meat rather than directly from plant sources, is less efficient. Like, because some of the protein and some of the energy is lost in the animal itself. Mm-hmm. And we can't create energy. We just recycle it. In yeah. This, right. So it, there is something to that, but that doesn't necessarily validate what the, the message of this no. movie is. Well, I mean, no. it was just like one of the other things they brought up, which was they were talking about how the teeth chew and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like going, you idiots. That's that's how that's evolutionary biology. Well, they when had, they st- yeah, they had <laughs> the carnivore and then the omnivore or the, the omnivore and the vegetarian yeah. or something like And it's like, like that. you and idiots. That's how evolutionary biology worked was when they discovered fire and they could cook the meat, they could get their nutrients that way. So they didn't need to have the big fucking carnivorous right. teeth, you dipshits. <laughs> well, and we, we have other shit to do besides eating because there's like the big, huge... Like the rhinoceri and the and the elephants. <laughs> nice. <laughs> the r- <I'm> sorry. <laughs> is that not the? Love, I, is it I rhinoceroses? Not rhinoceroses. I, I just got really an erection from you saying that. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be my safe word. <laughs> <laughs> That seems a little bit difficult to say. <laughs> well, as long as he didn't get an erection eye. <laughs> oh. You know, several. <laughs> oh, shit. The other thing that I took issue with this was that he, he would call and talk to the receptionist. It also talks about this in the article. He called the American Diabetes Association and would talk to whoever he had on the line. Like, he wouldn't, like, try and find somebody first. 
to talk with about something. He just he just needed to say the things so he could get the clip so he could put it in the documentary. So you didn't not want see I, I'm, they're hiding the truth because they won't talk to me. No, it's because you're a fucking idiot. Exactly. They don't want to talk to idiots. They they realize that you're full of shit. And then also, I don't know if you looked at the end credits of Cowspiracy or What the Health, but you can tell that it's a Kickstarter or Indiegogo or something. Yeah. Like they had countless people that had contributed contributed oh, yeah. monetarily to this documentary. Right. And Which that was in and of itself isn't necessarily a bad thing either, but it does yeah. speak to a certain amount of where they they must have marketed it at mm-hmm. vegan yeah. it social media. Questions the motive. They questions Whole the motive. Foods. Yeah. Hey, we're doing a documentary. Didn't, didn't they have a former CEO of Whole Foods on there? Mm. Is that right? I can't yeah. No. Yeah. No. 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 Just no. <laughs> no. No. You, no. I'm just saying, don't listen to any. Why would you listen to anything that fuckstick says? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck eh? Fuck stick. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of my favorite words. Douche pickle. I like douche. <laughs> douche, ooh, douche canoe is also very good. All right, I'm going to move on to uh, dogs with autism. <laughs> I'm sorry. What the fuck did you just say? <laughs> well, well, dogs te- with autism. Technically, they um, don't have oh. autism yet because their owners don't want to vaccinate. <laughs> I'm, I'm done. <laughs> I can't do it anymore. <laughs> yeah, Y'all are it's... killing. Me. I don't know what you're taking and uh, smoking in Canada, but I need to get some of that. Well, this is this story came out of Brooklyn, New York. Uh, some veterinary <laughs> veterinarians reported an increasing number of anti-vaxxer pet owners who say they're worried the vaccinations will harm their dogs. Uh, a, a doctor, Amy <laughs> Ford, from a clinic in Brooklyn, said, told the Brooklyn paper, yeah, it's called the Brooklyn paper, <laughs> <laughs> we do a higher number of clients, we, we see a, a higher number of clients who don't want to vaccinate their animals. God <laughs> damn. I thought this was only in California they were doing this. Nope. <laughs> no. It's spreading. <laughs> well, the, it, one of the one of the kind of bullet points is one vet said the trend was more common in hipster areas of Brooklyn. Yeah, so. that's right. Yes. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hipsters. Goddamn hipsters. Contaminate everything. Yes. Uh, one of the veterinarians interviewed says uh, that uh, they've never ever diagnosed a dog with autism, and I don't quote I don't think you could because <laughs> how the fuck would you know? Exactly. <laughs> like really, I just <laughs> how the fuck would you know if a dog has autism? I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't even have anything to say right now. I just I'm I'm dumbfounded. There's not much to say, <laughs> mind you, mind you. What? There are people that try to put their cats on vegan diets. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. that kills them literally. Yeah, yeah literally right. kills them. Cats are fucking carnivores. Yeah. yeah. Yep. <laughs> Makes me so angry when they do that shit. Uh, unva- unvaccinated dogs are uh, vulnerable to a number of diseases. They could get distemper, hepatitis, uh-huh. rabies, or uh, a disease called leptospirosis, which is a bacterial infection, which is vaccine preventable, that is carried by rats and spread to dogs and then. To humans who can then, and it's fatal in dogs, and then in humans it can cause liver failure, respiratory problems, meningitis, and sometimes death. This is what's going to end up causing the walking dead. Yeah, that's It's not right. a vaccine. It's going to be people not vaccinated. Yeah, it's going to be anti-vaxxers fucking just letting whatever diseases they want run wild. And that's when you fucking quarantine their motherfucking <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's when they're going to come to. It's going to come to that. Be honest with you. I mean, I'm not even kidding. It's come, it's just round them up. all up, put the anti vaxxers on that fucking island. Yeah. <laughs> Tell them to go on the plastic <laughs> island in the ocean. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the floating plat. Yeah. yeah, totally. Yeah, why not? Get rid of them. Yeah. 
But it's plenty Gwyneth, big Gwyneth enough. Baltrow can be their queen. <laughs> yeah, that's yes. right. Maybe we'll just go live on that. <laughs> <laughs> eventually, eventually the, the people who are smart are going to be the minority yes. in the way things are going. <laughs> You might as well move to Kansas right now because that's going to be the only thing that's like not underwater, probably. So Kansas, oh, things aren't good in Kansas. I have family well, we in may, Kansas. If you move enough people there, it will become good. That's yeah, where's saying. the where's the high know. spots? That's what I'm saying. Well, it's all flat in Kansas, but it's in the literally in the middle of the country. You well, know, like so. our 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 above sea level isn't great, even though we're in the middle of the country. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm, I'm thinking we could go to. The, Go to Kansas. They still have that fucking ark. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's Kentucky. Is that that's Kentucky? Kentucky? I thought that was Kentucky. Kansas. God damn it, fucking Canadians. <laughs> they were going to... goddamn geography right, man. Right? Even though we can't. <laughs> yeah. Where's Winnipeg? Yeah. I, Manitoba in the middle of fucking... See? Uh, he actually country. knows that. Yeah. <laughs> he knows, there you he, go. He knows Winnipeg's the asshole of Canada. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen the. I mean, only because uh, our ex coach of the Predators is from there. Barry Trotz was from Winnipeg. So. See, he's and a they U.S. Just, hockey they got fan. The Jets. Oh, okay. Some people and are hockey fans. Some people, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I've seen it. And it's like, God damn, how do people survive there in Winnipeg? I like yeah, that place. I, I like going there. I don't care what people have, say. Have you been pegged in Winnipeg? Huh? Huh? Pegged? Been pegged in Win- um, hang okay. on. <laughs> yes, think about that. Hang if you on. can't remember it, it wasn't worth it. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, if you can't remember it. No, that's not true necessarily. Yeah. If you were drunk, I, you know. No, I, I, don't really think, I don't think, I don't think, because that's like Mennonite country. That's where my family lives. Or really? Is- Serious? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, My uh, great grandpa founded the Mennonite Heritage Village. It's just south of Winnipeg. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yes. The food is fucking good. Don't even get me started. The hey, well, that's good. fine. I mean, you know, I'm no problem with that. Right. There's plenty of Mennonites down here in uh, there are. Tennessee and Kentucky. Actually. And Kansas and Arizona. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're it's, all over. It's a scourge. <laughs> all right. Herpes. Let's go to a quick uh, 10.50 p.m. ad break, and we will come back with some religious nuttery. You all have ads? Yeah, we play ads because we're live. (laughs) If you like what we're doing and want to help us keep the lights on, go become a patron at patreon.com forward slash brainstorm podcast. You can hear the bonus half hour that we record every episode and get a shout out when you support the show. Become a patron for just a dollar an episode at patreon.com forward slash brainstorm podcast. Or you can support the show by ordering a t-shirt, mug or other gear from our store at cafepress.ca forward slash brainstorm podcast gear. If you can't afford to become a patron or buy gear, then why not give us a rating or write a review on iTunes or Stitcher? Every rating makes it easier for people to find us. Thanks for your support. We are given one life full of billions of small and large decisions to be somebody, to change, to be kind, to give hope, to become a better person and to leave a lasting impact on this planet. It is a decision to be made every single day while your heart is still beating. We've made our decision. Absence of clothing. Atheist and science-based apparel and merchandise. Donating 50% of our profits to charity. Look good and feel good without God. Check us out at absenceofclothing.com and find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest for discount codes and other sweet swag. Use the code BRAINSTORM at absenceofclothing.com and get 10% off. This podcast is awesome. I love how they've used the word fuck for every part of the English language. Didn't miss one. But if you really love the pervasive use of the word fuck like I do, when you finish up here, you should head over to my podcast, Unbuckling the Bible Belt. You'll get to hear me, Sharon Bush, and my co-host, Joe Kiddick, fuck each other to death. Wait. That didn't come out right. I think we're back.
Yeah. That one, that kind of, okay. uh, that kinda, it ends abruptly. Hey, very abruptly. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So pay attention. Yeah. That, that, that promo you just played. Yep. She's, she's not even on there anymore. So you need, you need to go ahead and just get rid of that one. What you need to do is play the Podunk Polymath podcast intro uh, promo. Well, I have a, I have a rotation C and I think that, Yours is either coming up or it's already been played. You know what, Corey? <laughs> <laughs> Only love. Only love. Come on. The skeptic movement needs lots of love. Ugh. I got lots of love to give, baby. Don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> love and <sex>. Damn. <laughs> All right. Let's play a bumper for religious nuttery. Cornerstone. This might be new to some of you. Scripture says that even our righteous deeds are as filthy rags to God. So even the good things that you do, even things like feeding, feeding the hungry and, and clothing the poor and taking in widows and orphans, as nice as those things are, if not done from the place of obedience to in a relationship with God, are completely worthless and disgusting to God. If you're not daily walking in a place of relationship to God, then the news that we have to bring you is that you're on your way to hell right now. Jeremy. Who the fuck said that? <laughs> it's from a, a heavy metal concert uh, from the documentary Christ Core. I, I don't even want to know. Honestly. I, yeah, I'm, it's I about the metal core and hardcore scene, but it's super religious side of it. That scares me. But anyway. Oh, it gets even scarier. Look up white. White metal. Yeah, white metal. Although some of that is fucking awesome music. <laughs> okay. You, <laughs> destroy We're the runner. Is, on that. <laughs> destroy yeah. the runner is fucking pretty awesome <laughs> stuff. Or Demon Hunter. I don't mind Demon Hunter, but whatever. <laughs> I I can't listen to it anymore because of the <laughs> message, but Jesus Christ, the I used to love that shit. Really? Oh yeah. Man, I still love I still love uh, Striper, even though it's total fucking no! Striper. No! Total fucking <laughs> tease. No, what's wrong with you? No. <laughs> you are not qualified and we do not have the time to go through that. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> the easy answer is that Renee likes the hair metal. You can like hair metal without liking fucking striper. <laughs> It's it's the cheese Fair. factor. It's the <laughs> cheese factor. It's entertaining. Anyway, this article Corey gave to me on the last minute, so I only sort of read it. Anyway, <laughs> apparently they have with the Bible saying that the they destroy the Canaanites, but apparently they've done DNA testing in the area and found uh, not true. They have traced DNA in many people in Lebanon. Yeah. So, so surprise, the- surprise. Science proves the uh, Bible wrong yet again. <laughs> so the Shocker. Bible said that they were going to get rid of all the Canaanites? Yeah. yeah. They, they did, they get, did rid? get rid of it. They didn't. Unequivocally. But and and yeah. they the Bible absolutely is li- did not. Yeah. The Bible's not true? Yeah, well, yeah, at least in this. <laughs> yeah. Wait, hang on a second. It's not true? So they say. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we're atheists now. I guess. <laughs> Well, we I go. was a believer before that we started. Now, <laughs> not so much. Shit, man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's the whole not much world to that. Yeah. 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 I don't know who I am anymore. Yeah. So, exactly. Like, <laughs> So basically, there's a quote right here. Based on the study, it turns out that the people who lived in Lebanon almost 4,000 years ago were quite similar to the people who live there today. To the uh, to the modern Lebanese, so in other words, they weren't wiped out as said in the Bible. Okay, yeah, uh, that's. I'm sorry, that's just not news to me. I mean, that's that's like you know. I'm sorry, you know. Well, I guess they've it's just news. proven so many <laughs> biblical myths up to. The, I'm like the <laughs> the whole idea of the fucking Jews being dr- driven out of Egypt. Yeah. Yeah, there is absolutely no evidence of that at all. And you think that that many people were driven out, they'd have some sort of fucking evidence of that mm-hmm. shit. There's especially not, with so. the amount of time it took them to oh. get across. Yeah. Forty years. <laughs> 40 I mean, come on. What are you doing for forty fucking years? Seriously, camping, <laughs> <Just> camping, <laughs> eating manna. 
<laughs> from heaven. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Mm. If we're going with the stereotypical Jew, <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't you think there'd be someone in the back? Will you just ask for some fucking directions? <laughs> God damn it, I know where I'm going. Yes. That's a man. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shut up, Janice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, and the flood didn't actually happen, too, so there's another nail in the coffin. God damn it. (laughs) (laughs) Fuck. I was sure that was true. (laughs) I was convinced. So they built that $100 million boat for nothing? For nothing. For nothing. Did you know that the first person who built an ark was like 900 years old? Methuselah yes. got to like 969. <laughs> that, that, I was gonna say. that sounds plausible. That sounds plausible. <laughs> Heavy on the 69, I guess. Oh, hello. <laughs> Somebody's a little randy tonight. No, you no, no. <laughs> oh, I didn't say I, I never said I wasn't. <laughs> you pretty much started off your guest appearance on our podcast making gagging sounds as though somebody was... Well, I did like I said. I never claimed I was an angel. (laughs) Sorry, that was. It's more fun being the other thing, anyways. So the Canaanites still exist. (laughs) So technically, they still exist. Cool. That's another nail in the coffin. Somebody tried to tell me on Instagram that there's no God doesn't have any contradictions. He's not a hypocrite. Yes. There's people. Sure, whatever. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. There, and there's no contradictions in the Bible. Nope. That's None. Right. None. And it's perfectly None. clear. Yeah. Yeah. The way that I interpret it is exactly how it's meant. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Humans interpret What it looks like, teachings. that's how it is. <laughs> Humans interpret the teachings to benefit themselves. This is where the contradiction lies. It's not in the actual word, it's in the interpretation. Stupid humans. Ah, fucking humans. Oh, Angela, I just wanted to... I shouldn't have called you sweetheart. I apologize. It's okay. The last person that called me princess... Well, I don't know if that we talked well. about that. didn't go very well. <laughs> <laughs> I think I broke Rather his Rather sexist of me, so I need to go ahead and... I forgive you. All right. Angela, you also have a religious I story. I have a religious story, too. Yeah. So, apparently... There's there's a place that's discriminating against non-white, non-religious people. And uh, it's the Bayview Association of the U- United Methodist Church in Mis- Michigan. Back in 1942, they, they had made a rule that you had to be white and Christian to own a cottage on their property. And uh, th- they later dropped the, the, the white requirement but kept the Christian part, and then they had a a 10% Catholic rule that you could only be 10 like, <laughs> The you world know, you should have, have a 10%. <laughs> the, uh, the property, uh, like, no more they than couldn't 10%. have 11% Catholic ownership. Nope. Nope. There was, a, there was a, a, a person who actually was had to sell his property because... No way. Because he was Catholic. Because he crossed the line. He, yeah. What if you convert? How is that own? legal? It's, it's not. It's, it's, it can't be, it, right? It, it, well, apparently, <laughs> well, prospective buyers have to provide a letter from their pastor. And there's there's a lawsuit against these people the, by the uh, Bayview Chautauqua Inclusiveness Group. Uh, they're they're saying that exactly. Yeah, I'm <laughs> just saying they they're eh? guilty of violating the First Amendment. And their their argument is oh. that Bayview pays taxes, ah, so yeah. technically it's not church property. Yeah, see, the they first pay taxes. Uh, doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. But it sucks because there's a there Fake was news. one client that was denied ownership of their fourth generation cottage because she had converted to Judaism. Oh, right, well, go fuck yourself. How was that? Right. Even? No. So so conversion matters. So if you became an atheist, they would force How do you, you prove to sell that, it. Though? Yeah. How do you, you prove, prove that? Well, you can't. I mean, it's like you get a fucking certificate. <laughs> I am now a Jew. Hey, look at that. Can you, I mean, you can't. can you can you feel the wind though? Can you feel the wind? <laughs> <laughs> can you 
Can you feel love? I feel like I'm missing something here. With well, <laughs> that's all the article fucking said. It's all it said. I just gave you the important points. I'm just being I'm just being terrible and asking you if you can feel the wind. But I don't understand gravity. The word. Without just, God, because some people like to to prove God by saying. Well, you you could feel the wind, can't you? You can't see it. You can't I've see it, but you know it's there. That. You haven't. Oh, you should let Jehovah's Witnesses come to your door and try to. I get would love rather. Real. Love is real. <laughs> Love's real. Psh. Huh. Psh. So there. <laughs> <laughs> I just know some people are like, "Hey, come on in. Let me debate with you." Fuck that shit. I don't, I don't, I don't have I stopped a bunch of Mormons one time. At Did my, you? Because I was hungover, just really hungover, and I just opened the door, and there's just, you know, they're standing there with their nice little name tags and their white shirts, and, hi, can you talk about Jesus? I'm just like, no. Nope. <laughs> I'm like, no. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, I'm the wrong I guy. Never even. No, or I no. never answer the door. That's my solution. I want. Ever. I always want them to come in for coffee. I'd love that See? shit. That's what I'm saying. Some people are like that. Corey's obviously not terribly intelligent. <laughs> oh, harsh words. Burn. I I'm, think, I'm thinking more the subtle burn of the, you know, more, bringing in Mormons in for coffee. Here you go. I love you. them. I love <laughs> Here, Here's <laughs> Satan's <Coffee>. Java. <laughs> you can't have the cola, but you can't have the coffee, hey? What no, the fuck I, is wrong with you people? You're not, exactly. you're, just, you're not supposed to have the cola. They walk. I've seen them walk up my road before, actually. Yeah, you probably have a black yeah. axe over your house, though. No, it's like in this area. It's like super like Christian shit or whatever. And this road is, doesn't have sidewalks. And I've <laughs> thought several times of well swerving and making them dive in the <gasps> ditch. But you know, <laughs> yeah, I did never actually look- did it because I'm a. Oh, nice <laughs> Didn't even look like he slowed down. <laughs> Only you mad at me. Yes. Oh no. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I think I think we're done for the night. <laughs> <laughs> so uh we don't have any listener feedback. If you want nobody to chat likes with, us. nobody likes us. No. If you want to I chat, wish. then you can follow us on Twitter at Brainstorm Pod. Follow our page at Facebook.com slash brainstorm podcast or join our discussion group, the brainstorm podcast discussion group. It's pretty self explanatory. Yeah. We talk about stuff. Sometimes we share news articles and whatnot. Usually it's just stupid shit. Or you can yeah. mail us. You can email us at mail at brainstormblog.net. Oh, I thought you were talking snail mail. Yeah, I was going to say. We don't P. have a P.O. Box. box. I should get a P.O. box. <laughs> Why? No, no one no. You really. It's, no. it's no? just for fun. For fun. Uh, okay. Well. <laughs> As long as it doesn't cost much. I waste a lot of money on this show as it is. <laughs> I don't think it co- costs too much. Um, As for Patreon, we lost a patron, but we gained one as well. Oh. Fuck them. <laughs> well, oh, sorry. people have different reasons for it. <laughs> yeah, I know, but still fuck them. <laughs> Just st- like you, Corey. <laughs> just, just, st- yeah. just sticking with the theme of the He's evening. He's sticking with the theme. I gotta, I gotta yeah, appreciate I, I, the dedication. I, I, that's just my theme. That's a, nothing with your show. That's I'm his life theme. theme. That's how, his life mantra. How fortuitous <laughs> that you came onto this particular show. Yeah, that's I, right. I think God planned that. <laughs> <laughs> I will drive up to Saskatchewan. <laughs> With your tiny house. As for our patron, thanks, Alden, for becoming a new patron. Yes, thank you. Uh, I sent out a message to all our patrons f- near near the end of July, letting them know about the change in the pay schedule, the charging schedule for the show. Mm-hmm. So everybody should know. If you want to set a limit for your monthly charge, let me know if, and I'll help you figure it out. Uh, it's not <laughs> it's not too difficult, but. Um, so thanks to everyone who continues their patronage. We appreciate it. If you want tons of extra content that nobody else gets, ex- including exclusive content every month for $5 and up patrons, our Patreon page is patreon.com slash brainstorm podcast. We got a review from Aaron underscore YLW. I think that, I think I know who that is. <laughs> 
Uh, A.A. Ron or? A.A. Ron. A.A. Ron. Yeah, okay. A.A. Ron. You done fucked up, A.A. Ron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They gave us five stars and said, Brainstorm is a Category 5 hurricane leaving no woo standing oh in its path. My. Oh, <laughs> When I listen, I don't get as much work done, and that's a compliment. Thank you. Thanks, Aaron. A. A. Ron. A. A. Ron. And we started doing reviews and ratings on our Facebook page. I noticed that. So you can give us five stars on Facebook. Oh, oh you <laughs> fuck. Five stars. Are you gonna you're so are you gonna fucked. troll our Facebook page? Come on. I would never do such a thing. No. <laughs> you will not. Dan gave us five stars on Facebook. Thanks, Dan. Some of the most logical folks I've ever had the pleasure of listening oh, to. Oh, someone's lying. Constantly, <laughs> constantly <laughs> checking and rechecking biases to make sure they aren't getting stale. Very entertaining. And of course, Gaylene from Saskatoon, she gave us five stars because she loves Where, us. What? From What's Saskatoon. I don't even know what you're saying. Five stars. Saskatoon? No, Saskatoon. Is that like, bless you? What's going on here? No, yeah. Saskatoon is the, the city... About two and a half hours north of Regina. That is, it's Regina. <laughs> no, it's, it, it Re- rhymes Regina. with vagina. No, exactly. It's the Every city that rhymes that, with I'm thinking fun. Vagina. <laughs> vagina. When I went to the states back in '96, I they were asked me where I lived. And I was like, I live in Regina. They totally thought I said vagina. Exactly. Every time what? I hear that, <laughs> vagina. <laughs> These were churchy folks, so they were like, oh, You can't don't say, say that vagina. word. <laughs> I love vagina. I love it. Anyway, it's go great. ahead. <laughs> but Kaylee so- gave us five stars. She says this is a fun group. They cover several of my favorite topics like skepticism, science, and atheism, including current events that reaffirm my atheism. Thanks for yeah. what you do. You're, You're welcome, welcome Gaylene. We love doing it. We love uh, doing it. <laughs> Remember that if you, if you give us a rating and a review, it really helps the show out, and we'll read it on the air. Yeah, so go do that. <laughs> yeah. And also yeah. share the show with your friends. I think that's kind of one of those things that not enough people do plug your stuff no nobody no chris you have a show okay so (laughs) you didn't mention or i i shall mention now because you said you were going to but you never did that the first interview i ever did was with y'all right right y'all were the first show that i was on after he started the podunk polymath i didn't realize that was the first one Yep, and September sixth, I believe, was the so it's been nearly a year, <gasps> and my year, the Podunkaversary, one year Podunkaversary is coming what? up August fifth, twelfth. August twelfth will be the I'm doing a live show for my one year anniversary. Oh, we might sweet. not have been the first. No, you were. You were the first. I think you, you were on sure? Angry Black Rant before you were on us. That doesn't count. Well, <laughs> I mean, does it? Uh, it, the, might. Uh, it I might. don't. Was I on there? I no, so. I think. You know, I'm gonna have to look now. But fuck that. I no. <laughs> yeah, give I've us. I've already the credit. started That's it fine. now. Fuck it. <laughs> give us the fuck credit. It. No, but it was at least one of the first ones that invited me on their show. I guess. And I, re- I really want to thank y'all for doing that. I mean, it's, it means a lot. It means a lot that y'all have been there from the beginning. And I hope that any of your listeners – actually, Saskatchewan is one of the biggest upload areas for my show. Really? Yeah. Sweet. Uh, it's because we can yeah. relate to your backwoods mentality. <laughs> I was going to say. So <laughs> I want to thank all your listeners, all ten of them, uh-huh, whatever. <laughs> There's like a population of like 50 in that fucking province or whatever. Ish. But 51, ish, yeah, 52, yeah, so. somewhere in there. Give or take. It, it goes up and above and below. Yeah. <laughs> I wanna, Depends I wanna, if the riders are playing or not. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the rough riders. Yeah. <laughs> well, they don't have very Canadian. many drinking fountains, so there might not be that many left after yeah. the next couple of games. If it stays oh, this hot. Canadian football is not a real thing. But anyway. <laughs> um, Our balls are bigger. Oh, hello. <laughs> but anyway, so, no. 
<laughs> thank you for thank you and okay uh podunk polymath.com at podunk polymath on twitter uh facebook the podunk polymath and if you want to email me podunk.polymath at gmail.com somebody call my goddamn calling line yeah, you have 615 a phone three number. yeah three seven eight <laughs> popo uh seven six seven six nobody ever fucking calls it six one five what? three seven where what, what was it Three seven eight popo seven six seven six six one five three seven eight popo. That's right. Don't get jealous. Don't get jealous. Now, and, should we just leave a message? Oh yeah, leave that message. I want you to leave a <laughs> Angel. Actually, I want you to leave like a a sexy message. <laughs> anyway, no. Should I just read Doctor Zeus to you? <laughs> Green eggs and ham. Yeah, actually, that would be funny as fuck. Yeah, that would be that would be hilarious. <laughs> but no, seriously, y'all. Uh, if you if you have a chance, go listen to my uh, one year a show next Saturday. So. Excellent. So, is it going to be live? Yep, live with Zach from Zacherlich Cast. Oh, bro. Where will that Where will that be available? Uh, it will be available at youtubecom slash polymath. It's a live thing from awesome. YouTube. So. And if you want to uh, call in or, well, technically it's not calling, I guess, go to Google Hangouts and uh, go to that. However, I'm going to send a link out and do the link thing and you can click on the link. And if I deem you cool enough, I will let you come in. Perfect. Oh, I might be driving or, or something at that time or on the road or whatever, but I will definitely I could, try to listen. I could literally not know who the fuck you were. <laughs> if you try to call in, you will get approved. Is that what you're saying? You are the most Canadian motherfucker ever. <laughs> you like don't know all Canadian. of us. You don't you know, know Thornton's? Do you go to Thornton's? Sh- or not Thornton's. Uh, what's the name of that goddamn place? Um, Going out for a rip? <laughs> I don't even know what you're saying right now. <laughs> What other What's the name of that goddamn convenience store up there? Seven um, Eleven. No, goddamn it! <laughs> the one the everybody talks about. Tim Hortons. Yeah, that's it. Tim Hortons. Yeah, that's a donut coffee. We're shop. We're infiltrating yeah. your territory. Yeah, we're moving down there. Tim Hortons uh, is down in the U.S. Apparently, now. they opened one up in Scotland too. Oh, nice, oh, nice. Shit. Scotland, 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 Scotland. I'll have a double, Fucking double shite. <laughs> Canadians are taking over the world. Yeah, fuck yeah. Nova Scotia means New Scotland in Latin. It's You're true. Welcome. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Good work. <You're> <laughs> the more for, you know. Thanks for that little tidbit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they teach us that in grade one. <laughs> you know what, fuck you. <laughs> It's been a pleasure having you on the podcast tonight, Chris. Well, it's been a pleasure being on it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going to plug my other show. Do I, it. I put out episode nine of the Hardcore Skeptic Examines, and in this one I talked to uh, Donna Barker about implicit bias. Ooh. Uh, I'm a patron of that. Yes. Chris is uh, one of my three patrons for that show. <laughs> wow. Talk about supportive you Skeptic betcha. community here. Yeah. What the fuck? Eat your heart out, Sam Harris. <laughs> Take Peter that. Peter Bogosian. <laughs> Suck it! <laughs> you can Soak find, it! <laughs> you can you find that at Spreaker.com slash slow show slash the Hardcore Skeptic Examines. Um, let's cue that outro music. What's oh, coming? There we go. <laughs> It just needs time to get ready. Uh, yeah. <laughs> now, the, when you're older, that's what happens. Yeah. <laughs> takes, takes a minute. So you can check out the show notes at the brainstormblogpodcast.com or our website, brainstormblog.net. Thanks to our financial supporters, Will, Lisa, Rob, Aaron, Nathan, Daryl, Stephanie, Positively Skeptical, Michael, Lachlan, Magnus, and now Alden. Mm-hmm. You can... <laughs> You can join us live every second week when we broadcast live on Spreaker. You can find us at Spreaker.com slash user slash brainstorm podcast. Our next guest is Will D, 
our biggest patron and honorary member of the crew. Thanks, Chris, for joining us. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> you can find out more about his podcast at thepodunkpolymath.com. I'll put a link in the show notes. Um, thanks, Dave, for our intro music. Thanks to Alex Capper Murdoch for doing the voiceover for the intro and some of our ads. And thanks to Jason Camo for our outro music. You can find his stuff at alloststateofmind.com. All music played is either with permission or under the SOCAN license to play. For more information on SOCAN, you can check out the music license info page on our website, brainstormblog.net. I think that's everything. So give us a rating, a thumbs up, or a fave on your podcatcher of choice. Join our Facebook group, like our page, follow us on Twitter, share the show, and spread the word. And remember, the truth matters. Oh, yeah. is an opinion-based podcast. Each person on the podcast is responsible for their own opinions, and those opinions don't necessarily reflect the views of the rest of the panel. Any guests or anyone associated with the people on the podcast, such as spouses, partners, children, other family members, friends, or employers. No one person speaks for the podcast with the possible exception of Corey, and he doesn't speak for anyone else on the show. The Brainstorm podcast does not represent the views of our sponsors. We just wanted to say thanks to everyone who listens to us, shares the show, gives us a rating on iTunes or Stitcher, or supports us through Patreon and Gumroad. We don't have a lot of interaction sometimes with our listeners, but what we have had proves that we attract some of the best people around. Smart, kind, and cool. An audience truly worthy of the titles Hardcore and Woo Free. Thanks for helping us make the world a smarter place.